Hello YouTube, welcome from my stoop. It's been a while because I was this whole week uh, caught up in uh, in meetings and things. Uh, so yeah, I uh, was quite busy. But uh, no, I'll tell you next week uh, of something very exciting. Uh, yeah, today I would like, well, before I start with that, uh, I'm having a black house. Black house, the last bit of my Hearth and Home black house uh, tobacco in. Uh, the Parker Zulu, which was one of the pipes that uh, Pipes and Kayaks have, uh, has sent me. So I'm still busy with uh, with a breaking in, or a, although I don't uh, care much of the whole process of breaking in, I just you know keep on keep on smoking and uh, yeah, eventually eventually the uh, the cake layer or carbon layer is formed so uh, and I enjoy actually the the difference in taste the a fresh pipe has got some obviously a different taste than uh, than one with carbon so every time when I when I have a, a fresh or a new pipe I do enjoy that first few bowls of uh, of of a fresh pipe without layer um, but yeah, that is part of, uh, of pipe smoking pleasure, isn't it? I'm also alone this weekend, so I can uh, really enjoy a little bit of me time. My wife is uh, away with, with my daughter on a mother-daughter weekend, so Today I'll have to uh, do my usual braai alone and uh, tomorrow church. I hope she doesn't look uh, watch these videos because uh, with her not being here I also indulge in smoking inside uh, from time to time. <laughs> Uh, yeah. In any case, what I would like to to uh, to talk to uh, today about uh, is about something I read in Fred Hanna's book. You will you will remember that I'm busy with his book, uh, pipe smoking. Uh, what's the name of the book? Uh, the pleasure. I don't. Uh, any. I, I don't know. I'll try and try and have a look now. Um, so I'm busy with his book and uh, have read quite a few interesting and nice things in, in the book and uh, one thing I realized is you're never old, too old to learn even if you smoke long time or not. We're always busy learning and, uh, and finding new ways and, and new experiences. And that is what I, what I experience with, uh, with this book that I'm reading from him. And the thing that I, that I got which caught my attention, the, the book's name is uh, The Perfect Smoke, Gourmet Pipe Smoking for Relaxation. Uh, the last chapter I read was actually very interesting because I have one pipe which I just couldn't get, it's a, it's a very nice pipe and I love the pipe but the smoking was not that, uh, I wouldn't say pleasurable but uh, there, was, there was always something wrong, either gurgle or, uh, you know, not, not the perfect smoke, let me just state it like that. 
but um, this chapter which, that I read spoke about I think it's pipe mud uh, what do I what, he, he calls it um, yeah pipe mud I don't know whether you've heard about it pipe mud uh, and he said that when the first time he also got it from someone else so what what it is all about is to make a kind of a cement from ash from a, a good cigar which you mix with a little bit of water but really just a drop of water uh, the the mixture after everything is combined should not be wet it must be just just not uh, too dry that that is still loose ash the purpose of it was actually what what I what I was interested in because as I said I've got one pipe which is not that good in terms of smoking and he mentioned in his chapter that he uses pipe mud for different examples but the one example is when the the, the hole uh, in your in the bowl is too high which means that the bottom of the tobacco either gets you know, never gets smoked or collects all the 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 moist and that might be some or well, that's usually a problem in, in pipe smoking, which I didn't know. I thought that, you know, I didn't, I didn't realize that that's really the, an issue. Uh, and then I thought, I'm going to try this. So I took a good cigar and I finished up and collected all the ashes and mixed m the water in it and then tamped it in the bottom of, of that pipe until, as he said, the, the hole is is uh, close to or you know at, at the bottom of of the bowl and then you let that pipe mud dry for two days or so and then start smoking it uh, and that will then harden like cement you know as as if as if there was this there was wood in there Apparently, according to him, it doesn't necessarily uh, alter the taste of the tobacco or the pipe. And I have smoked one bowl already in, in the pipe that I modified. And I couldn't sm uh, taste any you know, uh, cigar type of, of, uh, of flavors. But uh, he said in any case, you know, after a while, carbon then is also then uh, built on, onto that layer of, of pipe mud. And, uh, well, I can just report by saying it worked. Uh, it is perfect. My, that pipe doesn't gurgle anymore. Uh, it smokes back to, to what I thought it should be. Uh, very nice. And uh, I'm still busy you know, building the layer of, of, of cake on, onto that ash. But uh, it's, it's working. And I never realized that that pipe mud can can be so hard that even if you if you uh, clean out your the ash uh, it doesn't this you know it, it doesn't come out with it uh, obviously the first few times you, you still need to be careful not to to scrape that out but uh, but it works perfectly and uh, Fred Hanna says that even if you need to 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 remove it by times you can it's not as if it's the that you know so so permanent that you can't remove it um, but obviously I wouldn't want to remove it I want my pipe to be to be as as I as I wanted it to be uh, and Fred Hanna says they also he also used or heard that it's been used or can be used for s small cracks that you might experience in your bowl uh, and it will do the same you know for, have the same purpose of, of filling those cracks uh, and then carbon built around it. So I don't know how many of you have known about this trick, but uh, I've, I've done it and it's working perfectly. Uh, 
And then I also would like to just report back, I wrote on one of my comments that I haven't done the salt treatment uh, for, well, forever. Um, uh, there was just no, n uh, never a, a reason really to do it. But then after someone said I should try it, um, there was two pipes which were from which is very old pipes that's also from the from the late 70s 80s uh, those times when when we when we just had access to um, uh, to aromatic tobaccos so there was one pipe which I I didn't really like the the, the smell and the taste that that came out of it it's kind of as if you couldn't get the tobacco that you really smoke in it so uh, those two pipes I then took and did the salt treatment with it uh, and again uh, smoked my uh, my Latakia blends in it and the ghost and and that bad smell which I which I had there was was gone so uh, I can now also say that uh, two things that I've learned uh, from the community uh, which improved and uh, my pipe smoking and pipes and and gives me an opportunity to really get to that the perfect pipe uh, or the perfect smoke so yes um, just wanted to to tell you about these two experiences and things that I've tried and done and uh, and it w and it's working and you're never too old to learn so uh, Friends, with that, I would like to then sign off and uh, I'll bring you another video soon, uh, which I've got in my mind, a topic which I would like to, to share with you. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe if you do like and, uh, and please leave your comments. I enjoy every comment and I try to respond and uh, yeah, I, I love this community and the interactions so uh, so thank you for watching and uh, keep on smoking and enjoy your weekend thank you bye bye